Hey YouTube, uh, two seasons ago, as you see on the screen here, I used this team, Pidgeot, Jelson, and Swampert to hit Legend, and I used it again last season to grind ELO. So I'm like, I bet you something to this extent would work again. Um, except this time, I'm like, you know what? There are way too many steals in this meta with a Sand Slash and a few others now to run just um, Pidgeot. So I switched out Pidgeot and I put in Shadow Zapdos because at least that gives me an answer for half of these, not half of these, but some of these steals, right? Uh, Registeel, you can hit neutral with Thundershock and Thunderbolt. Same thing with uh, a Sand Slash, right? So it gives you more options. The problem with that is that you then have a much, much worse time against uh, Giratina, which is why I put Hex back on Jelson instead of writing the bubble there because you need that. Um, so that was the team idea and it worked. It was one of those things, actually, let me just stop right here before I talk about what was a good game here. Um, the team worked well, and I was probably positive seven out of eight sets. And I was heading towards my highest ELO of the season. It was at like 29 something. And I'm like, I'm going to hit Legend with this team. And then I went two and three. And then one and four. And then I decided to switch my team. And then I went 0 and 5 with my new team. And then I dropped like 200 ELO. Um, I probably should have just like stuck with this team. I know I always tell myself like, I always tell my myself and subscribers like, how do you know when to switch teams or not? And it's just like, if you're getting just like hard counter in your ELO range, change it. But I wasn't getting, I was getting hard count a little bit, but I was still like hanging in there a lot of times. So I probably should have just like, okay, chalk up like, I had seven positive out of eight. I had a couple negative ones in a row, but I probably could make it back. But then I was like, I got to put in a new team anyway, so let's change it. And then it all fell apart. So this one, uh, you're week two ice. So I decide to catch the ice Coast Bear here. Uh, so I am loaded with energy. There is your Trevenant, right? This is what you want to do. Your, your double week to grass in the back. That was the contact back in the day. Trevenant was everywhere. Draw out a Trevenant with Jellicent. Um, Punished with Pidgeot, and then you can roam free here. Uh, the, the, the only problem now is if you're running, so I got, grabbed a shield, which is fine. I have a drill prex, I'm going to throw it right away because the only problem now is your Pidgeot, which is half normal, which resists everything here, you will take neutral from these claws and Shadow Ball. So I decide just to get that out of here, get to another move because I'm very spammy. So this will grab the last shield or take it out. Um, and I'm not going to get farmed down, so I'm just going to instant swap here. They're loaded with energy. They probably have, they're 100, they're 100, well, they, I was going to say 100% have 100 energy. So they have 100 energy here. Uh, going to shield up the first. I'm probably going to shield up the second too. Uh, I know I can live one, but I'm just going to shield up the second. And then I'm going to try and get this out of here ASAP. Because I really don't want to take the third. Because that would do a lot of chip damage, shadow on shadow. So take it out. What is in the back it is a Talon Flame. So let's see if I can time this properly. And hey, look at that. I know how to do everything once in a while. Hit it for the super effective. I don't even know what this takes out though. No, it just leaves them just short. They have to throw a Brave Bird, else I'm going to get to the Hydro by the next move. So they do throw the Brave Bird, and now it is an Incinerate versus Spark Down. And I managed to take them out with one HP. So Virizion, when you see Virizion on the lead, it's almost always running um, Leaf Blade sacred sword don't quote me on that <laughs> but like almost all the times i've seen it it's running those two because you can't i mean you could run those two moves in the back but then if you come against something like a giratina you're just walled and don't have anything to throw at it so that is why uh, i expected it to not have stone edge in most of the time most of the time uh so i grabbed one shield they i think i grabbed two shields here I remember that, okay, maybe not this one. I remember one of these one of these fighting for Switch real hard. I'm forgetting which one it was. Sec yeah, I was gonna say, the second grass knot will not take me out, uh, but I am throwing, I know not on good timing, but I just need to get this out of here. So take it out, that's fine. Verizon will get a full farm here, which is unfortunate. Um, I do, this doesn't matter though, because it's double weak to drill peck, so I would have taken it out one shot anyway, so that's just not anything that matters. Uh, I am going to grab a shield here, and then it comes down to calling this, and they stay in here and throw it. I'm like, you know what, I still think that you're probably just running Grass Knot, Sacred Sword, and they are, or sorry, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, and they are. 
but man, that leaf blade chipped like crazy. So second one will come through again, resisted because I'm a flyer, but unfortunately they're loaded with energy, able to gonna take me out here. So I have to shield. Um, I did that on purpose just to, cause I'll come up with energy, um, which is always good in that situation. And then hydro cannon here, it won't take out. I don't think an earthquake's gonna take me out. They're non-shadow. So I don't think an earthquake's gonna take me out from this range. Whoa, close though. So I lost with like one HP, which means they'll get one double kick off, but I have a drill peck and they are uh, not gonna beat me in CMP and they don't have a move because they just threw, so, all right. I should have, again, I shouldn't have risked that because there's no reason to, because it's a one shot 100%. I should just throw in the move, um, but I know they just dump three moves on me. So they are, they are energy dry. Polyrath, so great lead. I mean, Ice Punch is still hurt. So I'm just gonna throw this right away and then probably try and catch here. Cause you still need to try and draw out a grass, right? That's the thing with this team. You still need to try and draw out a grass. So I'm gonna try and catch eventually here. Uh, did not work. And I get hit with Drapion and the amount of Drapion, Skunk Tank, Scrafties, Obstagoons that I have seen in the back is crazy. I think a lot of people are running gel sense because it is extremely strong. So I think a lot of people are just running those dark or dark poisons in the back there to just wall, not wall jellicent, but like to take it out here. Cause they will get to a second crunch here. They are non shadow. So I do get to the move before they take me out. Again, shadow would easily take me out non shadow. Unfortunately will not take me out. They do. Um, I don't want to get farmed down. So I come and snipe and they come in here and I'm like, Oh man, if you're coming into this matchup, you're either weak in, the, weak in the back to this, or I do know that they have at least two ice punches because they saved all that energy. So I'm gonna have to double shield here because Zapdos is super glassy. But I will get to the drill pack before they take me out and I should be able to take them out. And I expected the catch and it was coming. I was gonna get it, but my switch timer is still not up. I gotta throw there and my switch timer is still not up. So I gotta throw here, <laughs> but luckily these two drill pecs are enough to take this out or no, there's not. So I gotta come and snipe at the mud shot. And now I should be able to get to an earthquake to take this out before they get to two ice punches. A scald won't take me out. Yeah, and an earthquake should take them out. Cause earthquake from a shadow swampert is a really hard hitting move. So again, wall rain on the lead, not a good lead. You, again, you think electric and water, great, but no ice and it's gonna far outpace me. Um, I was just gonna see when they're throwing. So they're throwing right on CMP here, or not CMP, right on five, um, which is potentially a sign three. I'm going straight for the nuke. They're at four. So I wonder if I do one more and try and catch here. Five, yeah, and they are smart enough not to throw it right on CMP. So we've seen this matchup before. Um, this will not take them out. Ooh, but they let it go. I wonder if I shield back here because it's probably more than anything else they're gonna do to me. Or is that just, I live the shadow ball anyways. Here's the problem now though. Here's the problem now. They just got two more icicle spears through. And I can't come in Zapdos because I can get lit up and then I'm going to come in Swamper to get lit up is the problem because this is a bad matchup here, especially when they're loaded with energy and I'm a shadow and I cannot take much. So I don't even know if I won or lost this game, but it looks like a loss. Like I, it's just, it's a tough one to get out of here. What I should have done is shielded up that shadow ball from Trevenant because that's probably going to do the most damage to me. I do get off a, uh, do get off an earthquake, take it out, get off a hydro. This will chip time. I expect a shield here. And the question is, can I get to two drill packs before they get to two hydros? I'm at two drill packs. Are they at two hydros? I don't think so. Cause I just saw the much I go through. So I should win CMP and be able to take this out. So maybe I will get out of it. Yeah, I do win CMP here. I will take it out. Cause I am spammy AF. The problem is, again, I, I won that matchup. I probably still should have shielded. I should have fought harder for switch there. Again, it's not that switch matters though, because I still would have just got hit hard with the wall rain anyway. So 
worked out in the ending. Try and catch a move here. Um, I get hit with that obstacle. So unfortunately, triple resisting the claws between the dark and normal typing. Uh, so these surfs will add up, but these night slashes come quicker. Ooh, and an obstruct. I am. I don't know if I said this in a video before. I TM'd away my obstruct because I thought it was a dumb move and I just want to cross jump on it. I so regret that move. I think obstruct is a very, very good move, especially in matchups like this where you can boost your defense by one. Um, and lower your... So it's essentially like doing two... See, the a, a lot of people are like... In matchups like this, it's amazing, but then like... The problem is, like, if I could have got out of that matchup, good catch, good snipe. If I could have got out of that matchup, I could have just, like, because it, it's essentially like a two, two boost slash take away in one. Like, what I mean by that is, instead of just doing, like, you know how dominant a double boost is? Like, super attack sharply rose, right? Or defend, or attack sharply fell. Like, that's huge. You essentially get that two, uh, like, that sharply. But it's just like one on the defense and one on the offense. So it's not a pure one. Uh, but it still does two. So in matchups like that where you can like obstruct, boost your defense, lower my defense. And now those Night Slashes are doing a lot more on me. Plus, if they had stayed in that matchup, um, if they had stayed in that matchup, they could have um, like kept their boost of the defense, of their defense. So oh, this game's over. What am I doing? This game is beyond over. I think I just want to see how much a drill pack does. And then I'll quit. Okay, so you need like three. Yeah, what am I doing? Get out of here. Glycopod. Um, I remember one team that Shadows Aptos just absolutely ran through, and I'm wondering if it's this. Shield up a liquidation. They're staying in, and they're water and bug so they're weak to everything i have here so they shield and i'm like okay you are super super weak to zapdos if you are staying in here and shielding when i'm just going to spam i end up catching here which is all resisted again try and pull out a grass if you have one they are going to get loaded with a liquidation and then probably bail yeah to an obstagoon makes sense Luckily, I am at a energy advantage here, although they do have the claws adding up from their Galisopods, so it's probably still I'm in two night slash room, two night slash ranges, and that is going to come a lot quicker than four surfs, even with an energy advantage here. So there's your first night slash, no boost. Let's just hopefully chip this a bunch here. Let's see if I try and snipe or just let this go down. Let this go down, come in, or no, I got to get out of here. Oh, they got the boost. They got the boost. So what the question is, where do I want to eat this? Yeah, take the resisted counters and get this out of here ASAP. Their Glycopod definitely has a liquidation, so I expect that to come back in. I'm going to shield because Swampert has a terrible matchup. It is an X scissor bait. And now I'm going to be taken out here. Okay, x did not take me out. Let's see if they try and catch. Nope, that's good. Let's get this out. I'm going to instant swap almost no matter what because I don't want... I've got like one H, HP. Oh, thank God. They are double weak to it, right? I, I kind of figured they were weak to that, so that was good. Scrafty on the lead. Terrible. Drapion. Good answer. This is the triple dark team. I saw this team multiple times now. And I like the concept of it. I really like the team. I just don't have the Shadow Drapion to make this team. It's a Scrafty lead, Shadow Drapion safe swap, Skunk in the back. So you basically come in here, Hydro on Hydro. I don't even don't go Hydro anymore because I've played this matchup a couple times now. You do not take out. The only the difference is now I can just farm down and come out with two Hydros instead of just having less energy if you threw the Earthquake. Um, so anyways, it's going to be a Skunk in the back. Basically, you try and pull out a steel, or a swamper to a certain extent, but a steel mostly with your with your Drapion, 
Scrafty will uh, deal with it, and then you have your Skunk in the back. And I kind of read this, which is why I gave up Switch, knowing that um, I can just like ship this a ton, and then I have my Gel Scent, which Shields probably do the rest for me here. So there's two. We CMP, so I'll probably let this go, because the Poison Jabs are resisted, right? So it takes me out, because yeah, obviously. Poison jabs are resisted. Crunches will add up, and uh, I can live one. Poison. Oh, I don't know if I want to shield that one in case. That's kind of risky, because if they get the defense fall, that's much, much worse, and this surf is not going to take them out. Um, I am now going to take them out here, just get them out. Knowing that Scrafty has at least one foul play. I can live one. I cannot live a second one. And I think they're almost at back to back. So if I remember, I try and catch. Or no, I throw it. I have a move. What am I doing? Yeah. That's way better than catching. It's just to throw the move you have to take it out. So that's a team. Again, grinded so good in so many sets. Faltered a little bit at the ending, and then I switched my team up, and then I lost a bunch. So, um, yeah, again, I did this before the turnover of the Cups. I did this on, like, Tuesday-ish, Monday, Tuesday. Actually, probably, yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So you will see probably, not probably, guaranteed you would have seen a little Jungle Cup team on Friday. This will go up on Saturday, and then I don't have any more... Actually, I did go. I did go four and one with a new Ultra League team, so I don't. I'll probably showcase that sometime this week. But I want to do a few more battles with that. And then I, I know a lot of people said they don't like the little Jungle Cup, and they're probably not going to play it. There's so many options. I think I will play it a few times. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then if I find that it's getting boring or stale or, or just can't make it work, then I'll come back to Ultra League. So that is it. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.